Hey y'all, it's Brooke with HubSpot. Today, I'm going to talk about the exciting new design patterns template that you can download for UI extensions. These design patterns were created to give you a basis for good design of your app cards and UI extensions to make them more user-friendly and match with the HubSpot branding style. So in order to use these, you can go ahead and actually download them directly to your local environment using our HubSpot CLI commands. So I'm in my code editor and I've opened up a terminal. The first thing you need to make sure is that you're inside of a directory that already has a HubSpot config YAML file. If you don't have that, make sure and go ahead and run HS init and connect your local directory with your HubSpot account. I already have the config file in here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and run the command that will allow me to download these templates. So. All of this information will be on our GitHub repository, and that will be linked down in the description below. So make sure to check out the description of this video to grab that GitHub repo link. So in my terminal, I'm just going to go ahead and paste in this command. This is HS project create, and it includes flags for the template source, the destination, the name, and the template that we want to choose. So now that we've got that in there, let's go ahead and click enter. And this will take just a second to go ahead and build in my local directory. So now you can see that we have the design patterns folder here. Now we need to go ahead and install the package dependencies. So let's CD into the design patterns folder and then into the source folder and then into the app folder and finally into the extensions folder. Now from here, I'm just going to go ahead and run NPM install. Now, once these are installed, it means everything is good. So let's go ahead and look inside of this folder and see which design patterns we have available. So if we open up our design patterns folder by clicking on the carrot, and then we click into the source folder, and then finally into the extensions folder, you'll see that we have quite a bit of extensions in here. So we have a button modal one, we have a button panel, we have a form action, we have a form modal, we have a form multi-step, and we have a table. And so all of these are rendered inside of a single project, but they are individual cards. So when you upload this to your HubSpot account, you'll have to add these cards individually to your contact record page. So now that we've downloaded the dependencies, let's go ahead and upload this to our HubSpot account. So inside of our terminal, we are going to run the command HS project upload. And this is going to say, do you want to create it in this account? Yes, we do. And that will go ahead and build and deploy it. So HS project upload auto builds and deploys your code so that it'll be ready to go once it's done. So now that that's deployed, let's go over to our HubSpot account to see all of these design patterns in action. All right, we're inside of our HubSpot account. So in the main navigation, we're going to go to CRM and then click on contacts. And now let's just click into any contact. So I'm gonna click into Dennis's and you'll see in our middle column that we already have a tab called custom. So what we're gonna do is in the top right, we're gonna click on customize record. And this is going to take us to the record customization page super quickly. We're gonna click on default view. And you can also create team views. So if you want it to be different for different teams, like your sales team, your marketing team, services team, you can customize this to whatever they need to see and only what they need to see. So now we're gonna go over to our custom tab. Let's just go ahead and remove the cards that I already have here. And then we're gonna click on add cards. And all of the cards that you create through UI extensions are going to live under the apps card type. So let's go ahead and click on the apps card type. And now we have a ton of apps in here, but we're gonna scroll down and you'll be able to tell that these are the ones from the design patterns because it will say underneath that this is the design patterns one. So we have the button modal card, the button panel card, form actions, modal form, multi-step and table example card. So like I said, they are all individual cards within this. So now that we have that, we're just gonna click on the X and then we're gonna click on save and exit. Now that we've saved that, we can just go ahead and actually click on this back button here and it will take us directly back to the contact page. Great, so now we can see all of the design pattern cards that we have. So the first one, the button modal card, we're gonna click on the open modal. And then this is just going to show you what this could look like when you have a modal opened and everything is left aligned. So now let's go ahead and click the X box here. 
And then the next one is going to be the same form, but this time, instead of it going into a modal, this is going to open up the side panel. So when we click on this, open the side panel, we see everything again is nicely left aligned. And then we can just go ahead and click on the X button here as well. Next, we have the form action patterns. This is going to show you a basic form and how you can make one. So this one, you have your clearly marked labels. You have your email along with some description information, and you have these little info things that you can use for pop up so that you can have more information. Everything is left aligned. We have also secondary information that will give you more information about this form if needed. And the submit button is currently in a state where you can't click it because there's no information inside of this form. The next design pattern is for modal forms. So HubSpot recommends having forms inside overlays like modals and panels to keep the main view clean and easy to navigate. So that's why we recommend adding any forms into a dialogue or a modal. So now we're gonna click on this button to display the form. And this is just that same form that you saw in that form action one, but this one is coming up in the modal so that it doesn't take up more space. And so now we can go ahead and click cancel and that will go ahead and close it as well. And the next one is for a multi-step form. So if you have a multi-step form, we definitely recommend that you put this in a modal or a panel because depending on the number of steps, it could get really overwhelming for a user to have to go through all those steps on this one page. So if we have it in a dialog box, then it makes it a little bit easier to navigate. So we're gonna click on display form and this is going to come out in that panel view. And then you're going to see that we have a tracker here that will show you how far along you are in this form, which is really nice. And you can only move on to the next step when you fill out the information here. So that's a way to walk people through a multi-step without overwhelming the space on the screen. And lastly, we have the table example. So tables can have a lot of information on them. So we recommend that when you create a table, you add pagination so that the table doesn't get too long. So here you can see we have about four options that are showing up and then you have pagination that goes along the bottom. So if you have more records, it will go through that. We also have these nice little action buttons. So if you need any action to happen, you can go ahead and add in an action button and that will give you more information about what you can do. Maybe it's updating that record inside of that row or whatever you need it to do, but that just keeps it a lot cleaner and everything here is also left aligned so that it's easy to read. And so that's what the design patterns go over. We've also updated our Figma design kit to include all of these design patterns. So if you like to see things visually, you can use the Figma design kit to see those. So let's go into that kit to show where those live. So to get the link to the Figma design kit, just go ahead and check the description box. The link will be right there for you. All you have to do is when you click on that, you'll open it up into Figma. You don't need a paid Figma account to see this. You actually just need a free account. So you can sign up for a free Figma account to use this and then make a draft and save that to your account. And then you'll be able to play around with it however you would like. But let's go in and here you'll see that we have several different pages within this design kit. And then you can go ahead and there's a section labeled design patterns. And then you'll see we have stuff for buttons. And our recommendation always is to have the buttons be left aligned and with the primary button on the leftmost side. Then we have our forms. With forms, we recommend vertical forms. Next, we have our multi-step forms. Again, here, we recommend that you put these in a panel so that it's a lot easier to follow along and that each step is labeled. And finally, our tables. Again, with tables, don't make them too long add in action buttons so that you can open up modals or sidebar panels, add in pagination so that it doesn't get too long or add in scrolling if you have a lot of columns that you need to put into this table. But that is how you use the HubSpot design patterns for UI extensions. You can go ahead and download this right now and start using it immediately. You can use this as starter templates for any of your projects to help you jumpstart your progress and let me know what you think about these in the comments below. As always, make sure to like and subscribe to the HubSpot Developers YouTube channel, and I will see you all in another video. Bye, y'all. Bye-bye.